Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here today for another Halo Insider News update. It looks like Halo Combat Evolved for PC is going to be coming to the Halo Insider program, so stick around and let's go ahead and go over the info. The following information can be found over at trueachievements.com. I will put the link in the description and I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check out the full article as I'm only pulling what I feel are the most important parts. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the information. Now speaking to PC Games, Brian Jared, 343's community director, said that once Reach comes out next month after the holiday, we will start to reset and we'll start to flight Halo CE. He continued to say, we're just going to keep going down the road until we fill out the rest of the collection. So after the holiday could mean that PC beta testing could start as early as January. Since Reach comes out on December 3rd, January could be more than enough time to deal with Reach's release and enjoy the holidays before turning the attention to Combat Evolved. The process for the beta testing last time was that a small portion of registered Halo insiders would get access to it. So if you guys do want to get access to it, I highly recommend that you go ahead and register at Halo Waypoint as a Halo Insider. Now, the article continues, the idea seems to be to treat the move to PC with caution. 343 Industries seems to be releasing each game of the MCC separately, following each other in chronological order, with extensive testing for each of them. If they continue with this chronological release, that would mean that after Combat Evolved would be Halo 2, and then Halo 3, and then Halo 3 ODST's campaign, and Halo 4. The caution seems to be understandable when taken together with Brian's comments about the difficulty of the process. And this is his quote, We're taking a game that is very old, and we're trying to update it for this platform, the PC, while making it run at 60 frames per second and 4K, but also trying to account for all the requirements that PC gamers expect nowadays, like uncapped frame rates and different aspect ratios. 343 seems determined to deliver the best experience, Brian's comments, that it's been more challenging than we initially thought, and it's taken longer than we expected. But it's more important that we don't cut corners, no matter what pace they take, with the knowledge that reaches out next month, and that the beta testing for Combat Evolved should start after the holidays, fans can at least feel confident about the structure and order of the Master Chief Collection when coming to PC. So it's nice to see that they're moving right along and that they're going to be starting work on Halo Combat Evolved for the MCC on PC pretty soon. I didn't exactly know what they were going to do and the time periods between each release. And the way that they're doing this, though, is that each release is going to be its own season. So when the multiplayer launches for PC and for the Xbox One, they're going to be doing what they call seasonal events where the first season, since it's Halo Reach, is going to be Halo Reach themed, and then the second season is going to be Halo Combat Evolved, and then Halo 2, and then Halo 3, and then ODST, and then probably Halo 4. So I'm not exactly sure what they have planned for these seasons and what you're going to be able to unlock, but generally when looking at other games like Fortnite and recently Destiny, seasons usually last roughly around three months, about 70 days. So is that an expectation that we can set for Halo where the Reach season is going to last for 70 days and then after those 70 days, Halo Combat Evolved is going to release on the PC? Or is it going to be longer than that? Are the seasons going to run longer? I'm sure we'll find out, but this is just things that I am thinking about. Now what concerns me when it comes to Halo Combat Evolved on the PC is that they get the multiplayer portion of the game right reason for this being is because when it comes to the Xbox One version of the MCC, Halo Combat Evolves multiplayer is the worst part of the MCC. In fact, as of right now, I actually don't even have it installed on my Xbox with the way that they let you install different aspects of the games, specifically because it's terrible. The last time I played it, it was terrible. And the reason for this is, is it doesn't have modern conveniences that you would expect with first-person shooters, even games that like Halo 2 took strides towards and the first thing I'll go out and mention is the simple fact that when you're playing a basic team slayer match holding the back button to check the score 
they don't have the score tallied up. You don't have the red team has this amount of kills and the blue team has this amount of kills. You have all the players that are in the match with their each individual kills. So unless you're actually going to take the time in a multiplayer match to sit there and add up your team's kills and then the other team's kills, more than likely you're going to die once or twice between trying to add everything up. The second thing is that there's no in-match timer. There's no in-game timer. So you don't know how far into a match that you are. So if the match does have a time limit, you don't know how close to it you are. The radar in the game uh, also seems to be somewhat screwed up. There's huge amounts of input delay when it comes to controls. Lag is absolutely ridiculous. It was also the multiplayer that I was disconnected from the most. And when it comes to the MCC with the quit penalty, adding up all these problems between lag, being disconnected, and delays, chances are you're going to get a multiplayer ban. And something else that concerns me that I've talked about in previous videos, we're supposed to be getting a beta for Halo Infinite. Now, Halo Infinite is also going to be on the Xbox Scarlet, but it's going to be on the Xbox One. It was something that was promised. It's something that we were told that we were going to get. And if they're going to want to have a beta in time so that they can actually make tweaks to the game and change things that may potentially be broken or unbalanced, they need to have it early before the game releases. Now, when it comes to Halo 5, they had the beta for that in January of 2015 and then the game launched in October so there was 10 months and they did use the feedback from the beta to make changes now if they're going to want to use the same type of strategy for Halo Infinite they're also going to be stepping on Halo the Master Chief Collection's beta testing for PC so I don't know exactly how this is going to work how it's going to be segmented if they're going to have a certain amount of Halo Insiders working with Halo Infinite and another amount working with the Master Chief Collection. I'm sure we're all gonna find out pretty soon, I would imagine, um, but just in case, I mean, these are issues and these are things that need to be clarified and talked about. But as always, don't forget, in order to be part of the conversation and have your voice heard, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment in the section down below. If you guys enjoyed this video and found any informative value to it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, thank you for sticking around if you're still here. But until next time, everyone, thank you all for joining me here today, and I'll see all of you in the next video.